Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Lux Report on YouTube. Let's check out the best watches of 2021. Make sure you watch the whole of the video to the very end because there's some very um, unique pieces that you may have not come across. So uh, be sure to see the whole video. First up, we have the Patek Philippe Nautilus Reference 5711-1A-014. And when when it cancelled one of the one of its most coveted models ever, the reference five seven one one blue dial Nautilus, Patek promised a new version, and of course it did deliver. And the five seven one one slash one a dash zero one four has a green dial, a trend uh, solidly entrenched as the color of choice in 2021 there are also nautiluses with diamonds and a rose gold chronograph retail on this is 34,893 us dollars next up we have vacheron constantin uh it's an armillary tourbillon planetaria this 46 mil wide by 20.20 millimeter thick grand complication has everything it's a double axis tourbillon with a uh, spheri spherical hairspring 31 day retrograde jumping perpetual calendar with day date and month Spherical double hemisphere moon phase orbs, 24 hour and day and night indication, leap year, hours and minutes. Wow, has everything and it's a unique piece with a secret price. Next up we have a new one from Panerai and it's the Panerai Submersible E-Lab ID. And the only reason this watch is made of 98% recycled materials and not 100% is that it would take more energy to recycle some tiny little components than to make them from scratch. The titanium case, crystal, strap, uh, pretty much most of the movement and even the glow in the dark super luminova are reused this one is a limited edition of 30 pieces retail is 60,000 euros which is around 71 72,000 US dollars we have the Zenith DeFi 21 spectrum and you'd expect a chronograph that uh, oscillates at the bre breakneck speed of 360,000 VPH and the average is uh, 28,000 so uh, to look something like a Formula One race car but this looks more like it's ready for the Met Gala as the world's highest frequency chronographed in regular production it will get you to the party fashionably on time and this one it retails at 35,900 US dollars love this one coming out of Bulgari it's the Bulgari Octo Finissimo perpetual calendar in platinum and because one world record is never enough Bulgari has added a seventh to its roster of the world's thinnest watches. This perpetual calendar watch is 40 mil wide by only 5.8 millimeters thick, or should I say thin. Price is 89,000 in platinum and 59,000 in titanium. That's in US dollars. Coming out of IWC is the Big Pilot Shock Absorber XPL. And the movement is suspended on a cantilevered spring to protect it from intense shocks. Something we could all use after the year we've had. The case is black serotanium, a titanium alloy that makes the watch look as tough as it is. This one is limited edition of only 10 pieces. Retail is 83,600 US dollars. Coming from Bell and Ross is the BR V2-94 full loom. And 
This chronograph features the brightest grade of phosphorescent super luminova available, not only on its hands or numerals and markers, but also on the entire dial. Wow, absolutely amazing. The C3 grade luminescent material has a brightness strength of 100% compared with the industry standard uh, C1 with a 31% brightness rating. This one is limited to 250 pieces. Retail, reasonable, 5,100 US dollars. Next up, the Rolex Cosmograph Daytona Meteorite. This 18 karat white gold watch is the same size and has the exact same movement, same ceramic bezel, and same Oyster Flex bracelet as the regular white gold Rolex Daytona, with one major difference. It has a dial made from an out of this world slice of meteorite. Retail price is $34,050. US. Coming out of Hublot and not to everyone's taste, but uh, it has to be uh, included in this list, is the Big Bang Integral Tourbillon Full Sapphire. And having mastered the all sapphire cased, a Lego-like construction of some seven, uh, sorry, actually 37 components, Hublot adds an integrated sapphire link bracelet, the tourbillon bridge dial plate, and other bridges that hold together the watch's moving parts are also made of sapphire to provide a clear view. Pretty much the whole watch, including the bracelet, uh, Bridges is sapphire and very interesting piece, not to everyone's taste, but interesting none the least. Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Chronograph. This beloved watch is slightly smaller than the previous iterations, 43mm not 44mm, with rearranged subdials and date window. Um, a newly detachable bracelet and a new timekeeping mechanism. A piece first with a chronograph integrated directly into it. There are 100 pieces in titanium and retail price 36,200 US dollars. From Jaeger Le Coultre is the Hybris. Mechan uh, Mechanica Reverso, with four working dials and 11 complications. This takes six months to assemble because it has a perpetual calendar, minute repeater, moon phase, and in both hemispheres, tourbillon, uh, leap year, uh, draco uh, draconic lunar cycle. Uh, also has an animalistic lunar cycle and jumping hour and minutes. It does pretty much everything but open your beer, which you probably could actually do it uh, once you open the watch and, and you could probably uh, open your beer from the Lux. But I wouldn't recommend that, of course. Limited to 10 pieces, price retail is 1.5 million US dollars. Mont Blanc 1858 Split Seconds Chronograph. It uh, has a unique case. Materials are uh, the theme for this model's uh, line, which debuted in 2019 with a bronze case, followed by a titanium version last year. The 18 karat lime gold case is uh, alloyed with silver and iron, and the matching green numerals are made entirely of superluminova. The other highlight is the uh, Colomacon there's the snail shaped uh, tachymeter scale positioned on the center dial instead of the periphery Limit limited to 18 pieces retail for this piece is 50,000 US dollars and last but not least we have the Omega Seamaster 300 bronze gold bronze has become the standard in modern dive watches because of its resistance to salt water Omega takes it up a notch by adding gold to the bronze, along with a generous dash of copper and other secret ingredients. 
which means the metal will still develop a nice patina, but won't hurt your green. Uh, your skin won't make your skin turn green. We wouldn't want that now. So this one is retailed at eleven thousand two hundred US dollars. So what do you think about that? Any particular piece that really takes your uh, fancy uh, out of all of those pieces? Also, maybe there's a piece that I haven't mentioned that you feel should be added into this list. Make sure you subscribe to Lux Report. Click on the bell icon and we will keep you informed on all the latest happenings in the watch world.